and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Ajean. Here's what's happening in our territory. By now, a lot of us have gotten our new WAPA bills for this month, and you should be seeing a serious reduction. News Channel 8's West Mall spent some time at the WAPA office earlier today. Well, everyone's talking about WAPA and the fact that WAPA bills are starting to go down. If you've noticed, your bills have come down, both businesses and residents. I just got this gentleman here. He's got his WAPA bill. He looks a little happy. You're smiling. What happened? Did the Liat go away? Did the Liat come down? The Liat didn't go away. Liat is still there. I thank God for life. <laughs> You're happy to be alive? Yeah, happy to be alive. But did your bill come down, though, a little? Well, but maybe 1% or something like that, but that's not much. Based, based on what's happening, you know what You need a little more. A little bit, a little bit more. Every little bit helps. Well, the protest still goes on tomorrow uh, at 12 o'clock. got to do what you got to do. There you go. You got to do what you got to do. Well, there you go. You have a good day, All right, thank you. Right. Information coming from Hugo Hodge, the executive director of WAPA. The um, utility uh, held the bills printed Wednesday, October 1st, that in anticipation of the Public Service Commission's approval last week. Now, you might remember that. But still, uh, bills are starting to come down. They really are. I've talked to some businesses, some residents, and bills are coming down. The LEOC is coming down, so it does work. Well, we want to remind the consumers today, and I'm sure that WAPA Information Director Ms. Cassandra Dunn would echo this. She's in St. Thomas at this time, but I'll try to get a hold of her later. You still need to cut down on your power. It's starting to get cooler now as we come into the fall months and winter months. Even though we are in paradise in the tropical region, I know it's hot, I know it's warm. Keep your air conditioners off as much as possible. Regulate what's going on. Your water heaters, only plug them in when necessary. Uh, other things that you could do to try to conserve fuel, um, um, energy, and also um, pay attention to WAPA as they put out notices on how you could save and, and um, conserve energy. Also, the VI Energy Office, try to stay in touch with them for tips as well. You know what you've got to do, consumers. You just have to do it. We are really not out of the woods or out of the dark yet. But let's not end up in the dark permanently. You know what I'm saying. So WAPA bills are coming down slowly but surely. But the protest in front of Government House tomorrow on St. Croix at 12 o'clock still exists as business owners want to get rid of the LEOC altogether. So here we are at WAPA. People are still, they're smiling, but they're still saying, Hey, we we need. I'm here for you, sis. All right, thank you. But they still want the bills to come down. People might not be on camera, but they're all around me saying, "Hey, help us out." All right. So here we are at WAP at Sunny Isle. All right, fine. I'm Wes Small for News Channel Eight. And in other news, depression can be a serious threat to all of us, especially when we go through these tough hard economic times we're feeling right now. And this month is Mental Health Awareness Month, and News Channel 8's Wes Small has more on that story. Like we said earlier in the week, October is many things. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is Domestic Violence uh, Awareness Month. And it's also Mental Health Awareness Month. And uh, tomorrow, nationally in Canada and also here locally in our territory, it's National Depression, National Depression Screening Day. And I'm here with clinical psychologist, uh, Dr. John Schuster, who's telling us about um, the screening that we're going to be having in Christiansted tomorrow, Doc. Thank you for having me, Wes. Uh, we're having an all-day screening tomorrow from 10 in the morning till 6 in the afternoon at the Lutheran Parish Hall, which is right across the street from the Lutheran Church in downtown Christiansted. And this is being presented by the Association of Virgin Island Psychologists, uh, which I belong to. And let me tell you a little about the day. It's going to be free. It's completely anonymous. People can come in there. Nobody will ask them the name. They won't know anything about them and they'll get a screening 10-minute screening with a psychologist and they'll fill out some paperwork and we're trying to find out if there are people with depression who aren't aware that they're depressed well let's stop right there and um, I'll be the patient WAPA bills I cannot make my WAPA bills I have to fill up my gas tank and I am severely depressed on economic reasons uh, what are some of the signs? What are some of the cures, if any, right now? I'm sure we're all feeling this. Some of the symptoms of the depression uh, you can have, and you're, you get used to them because you've had them for so long, and you might not even be aware. Uh, low self-esteem, low energy. You get up in the morning after you've slept all night, and you feel like you haven't slept a wink. You're just dragging all day. Uh, appetite problems. You either eat too much, 
to make yourself feel better or go the other way. You eat too little. You stop eating. You get, lose your interest in, in uh, food. Sleeping problems. Some people, when they're depressed, sleep 12 hours and they wake up and they feel like they haven't slept a wink. Other people with depression can't sleep at all. They fall asleep for an hour, wake up, toss and turn, get up, walk around, come back, try to go back to sleep. These are all symptoms of depression. What can we do about depression? Usually, if it's clinical depression that's been going on a couple, three weeks, the best thing to do is to go find a professional person or somebody you feel comfortable talking to and get some counseling for it. If that's not enough, there's medications that people can take for depression as well. All right. Well, tomorrow's a very important day then. It's National uh, Depression Screening Day right at the Lutheran Hall, and that's tomorrow. And let's face it, folks, I mean, we all go through uh, bouts of depression if you're human, and uh, let's just try to derail that and, uh, and have the impact uh, hit us less as possible. Isn't that right, Doc? Definitely. There's a stigma attached with any kind of mental issue, and we really are trying to work hard to get past that because if you had a, a foot hurt or something, you wouldn't think twice about going to the doctor and getting your foot fixed. But when it's a, an emotional or a mental issue, people are embarrassed and they think they're weak and they think there's a problem. But please come and see us because we'd like to try and help and see if we can refer you on if you uh, have a mental problem, issue, depression, whatever it is. All right. Is there a phone number? No people phone number. No. Just come on down to Lutheran Parish Hall tomorrow on Chris Justed at what time? Any time between 10 in the morning and 6 in the evening. No appointment necessary and it's confidential and it's free. Thank you very much, clinical psychologist, Dr. John Schuster, and it's all about your mental health. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8.